Hello my friends, this is the first pilot episode of my new YouTube show called Lead Code With Me. The main goal of it is to solve a few lead code coding challenges. My name is Alexander Barmin and this is my channel. So please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. Let's get started. We have a challenge and we are given an array of integer nouns and integer target. We need to return indexes of two numbers such as that uh, by adding one to another it gives us target. So what's more important for us to know is that each input has exactly one solution, which is very very good and you, we may not use the same element twice, so ID is the following. So we have input element, input array, and we have a target value, for example this time it is 9 and we need to find two elements which give us 9 in sum. So 11 plus 15 it is 26 more than expected, 2 plus 7 it is 9, so that we should return indexes 0 and 1. If I were you, so I would start with the simplest possible solution and the simplest possible solution is to use two nested loops. So for example, this is the first loop which will iterate from the first element to uh, previous uh, element till the end. So int i equal to zero, i is less than nums length minus one in order not to use last one element and i plus plus. And next we need to have a nested loop which is int g equal to i plus one because we're not comparing, we're not doing a summarization of the same element. Two plus two uh, is not something which is expected so that here we have plus one. Obviously j is less than nums length and j plus plus. So and this is the most obvious solution if uh, nums i plus nums g is equal to target so that we return in return new int uh, i and g and otherwise we will throw new runtime exception. So we throw in runtime exception because we know that uh, it is said that every input has exactly one solution so that it should work. So if we submit this solution it will be accepted definitely because it is a working solution but still it is a suboptimal solution. So see it works, it takes 44 milliseconds, uh, it is not best possible solution but still it is acceptable. So let's read the description one more time. And description says that uh, but we may try to come up with algorithm which is better uh, then O of from n square time complexity. Okay, in order to come up with this algorithm, what we need to do? So actually what we need to know is, uh, well, in order to have less time complexity, we don't need to iterate through our input array twice. So that it, in the best possible option, we need to iterate through our input array only once. So that let's write it. Uh, for int e, e i equal sorry i equal to zero i less than nums length i plus plus this is my final int value nums at position i so I need to rem somehow memorize what values I already visited and what elements are already known to me because see main goal of this task, main goal of this task is to find two numbers which gives at our gives target in sum, right? Right. So what if we memorize which elements we have already visited and which elements we have already checked? And in case if uh, we have already memorized an element which in sum with the current gives us target, so that we will take its index. It's easy to say, but uh, a bit more not so complicated to write. So in order to memorize something, and in our current scenario we need to memorize a pair, value and its index, we need to have a structure which allows us to store it. And actually this structure is map, so let's use uh, map integer to integer, and let's call it visited new hash map. 
So our key will be a value which we will compare with and value in our visited map will be its index. So roughly speaking, we need to find an element which in some this current value gives us target. So that in order to find that element, we need to subtract our value from target. Let's call it remaining is equal target minus uh, value. And in case if we already visited an element contains key with remaining value. So this is our, uh, our goal is achieved. Int i and visited dot get remaining. And otherwise, if we, uh, we need to have a way to memorize put current value value and its index. So this solution also should work. And it also should have better performance. So let me um, explain for the second time how it works. Because it is quite elegant, but not very obvious. So as you may see, it has much better performance, two milliseconds instead of 44 milliseconds with, uh, roughly speaking, these two nested loops. So idea is the following. So let's get back to our uh, test cases. So our input array is two, seven, 11, and 15, and we're looking for two elements which gives us nine in sum. So first iteration of this loop, first iteration of this loop, this is how it will be executed. So we're taking e i equal to zero, our element at zero position is uh, two. So this is two. Uh, remaining is nine minus minus two is seven. And our visited map is empty. So that we go here and memorizing two, uh, two, zero. So two is value, zero is its key. So next iteration. Next iteration, we're taking element on the first position, uh, on second position, on position with index uh, one, so it is seven. So remaining value nine minus, minus seven, it's two. And we're checking, have you already memorized a value equal to two? And yes, it is here and we just need to return its index. So this is how it works. Hope you enjoyed the video and if so, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next week. Bye.